Good morning. My name is Chen Wenfeng. I'm from CCTV. I'm the anchor. I'm very happy to see you in the uh, Summer Davos, and we have a special dialogue with uh, Jack Ma. What makes this dialogue very special? Because we have so much expectation from the audience. The second reason by our statistics are made by our colleagues. And this is a nice time that we have such a dialogue. So big welcome to our Jack Ma. Thank you for joining us. In these days, I know that uh, you have aroused uh, high attention from the uh, media. And the two words, we can describe it, and uh, we can check what the two words are, because you have declared, yes, it's uh, true, and you retired. It is such a big uh, breaking news. And uh, why did you choose on September, ten, uh, September 10th, on your birthday, 54th, 50, and it's not the 60, and you decided to leave this position? Originally, I because you know I left university at the age of 30. Together with the president of university and the leaders, I said I will come back in 10 years. I uh, naively believe that I can return to the university at the age of 40, but at the age of 40, it was not possible because there was no clear direction of my company. Therefore, at the age of 45, I had a plan in my mind. I want to get retired at the age of 50, but I can't do that. I believe that before 55, I must do it. So it took me 10 years. So uh, September 10th, I declared I will no longer be the uh, uh, board chairman, and I left the management of Ali Group, which was uh, decision was made three years ago. So it was a gradual decision-making process. It is not something uh, appeared in my mind all of a sudden, which was not responsible for myself, my, for my company as well. So it takes me a lot of time for the preparation. On the student, we still feel very curious. How about you retire after two years or two years ahead of this time? And what might be different to you and to your company? If two years ago, I was not ready. The company was not ready either. After two years, maybe I did not, I will not want to leave because of very strong emotion bond. Well, we need to think about several questions. It's not that company can't leave you. Instead, it's you can't leave your company. You don't know what to do. You are at a loss. At the age of uh, 54, just uh, 54 years old, I think that in internet, I was uh, I am a little bit older, but uh, still young for other industries or business. Maybe after another 15 to 16 years, I can do something else. But once after 55 to 56 or even 60 years old, you know, people have a habit. You try to click to something. You have uh, no. A guarantee to the future, you have to stay with your office. Therefore, beyond 56, people say, okay, company can't live without you, organization can't live without you. Instead, it's not, it's not the company, it's you who cannot leave the company. We must know ourselves what, what you can do, what you can't do, and what, what is the ultimate goal of your life. And we often say that we know our life at the age of 50. Beyond 50, we should get clear what we want exactly what we need to get, what we need to give up, what is something you should own, something you don't. Once these things are clear in your mind, it's not difficult or trouble to make such a decision. And it is surprising to us, at least to our, to our view, you choose to retire at the age of 54, which is believed to be young. Look at your friends within your community, no matter if it's Ren Zhengfei or Mr. Zhang Reiming. And even 20 years older, older than you, they are still fighting in the business cycle. Mr. Cao De Wang, several days ago, decided to declare retirement in September, but he said he made a new declare, um, a statement that decided to delay his retirement. So do you think your decision, do you feel it is a tiring decision? Anyway, I think I'm quite good. I'm quite good with my position, uh, with my uh, decision, and uh, many people think that okay, they may think about the same question in in their in their mind at the age of fifty four. I keep mention this. I don't want to die in my office, and uh, if I can die on the on the sea along the seaside and on the sand, I will feel very, very, very happy. I, I prefer dying on the beach, and uh, I'm here not to uh, for the career. You are born to experience, to try different things, to enjoy your life. I should say that uh, I was uh, I used to be a teacher, so it's quite um, a. Um, 
at least I was not a trained a uh, business people. And uh, with the uh, social trend and the guarantee of the team, I had a very good luck. But you know, good luck can't, can't be with you all the time. We, we need to extend the luck. If you want to do so, you need to offer the opportunities to, pe to other people. You need to offer more opportunities to others, which means you give yourself more chances. You know that uh, in the future, I believe it will be very good. And a lot of things I show great interest in the past 20 years. Actually, I feel pity I did not have the time and capability of doing so. But today, I have time. I have the opportunity. I'm capable of developing these uh, new things. I really want to show this to the uh, business sectors. You know that in China, in Asia, actually, and uh, nav never saying giving up and keep working and fighting for the age of 80 or 90 years old, I don't think it is necessary. Look at the other countries. You know that the entrepreneurs, the startup company owners are very old, have white hairs, but you know, you, you, it's kind of uh, a step back from this uh, strong wave. I should say that in this uh, strong trend in the times, and I try to uh, take steps forward, and I don't think it's a step backward. And by my own personality, I will have no rest. And even so, I retire from my company, but it's a big step in my life. I have more time to uh, do something I show great interest in, such as education, environment, start startup entrepreneurship, especially in the entrepreneurship spirit. I used to look uh, look down upon the business people, and after twenty years of uh, running on my own company, company economy, a great contributor to the country. And we would say that uh, strong military countries are powerful, but I believe that uh, good business, good economy will make a company, will make a country very powerful. And a good understanding of the business and uh, the business people and a good understanding of the economy, which are highly important. And uh, after 20 years, and we can have a very uh, objective understanding and uh, try to spread out that uh, message to the society. Well, after your declaration of your retire retirement, a lot of um, uh, uh, guesses on you. You know what is the most absurd or the, the worst expectation on your um, retirement? Do you want to make it uh, clarify here? Well, we have a lot of uh, speculations and guesses in the market. There are so many um, uh, guesses and uh, speculations, and uh, and I, sh I should say that a uh, entrepreneurs or and if you try uh, new things, you keep exper experiment uh, experimenting, and you know some uh, gossips and uh, rumors, setbacks and the sufferings are all along with the journey. Therefore, people like myself. In the, uh, we need to learn to try to swim and survive in the ocean of uh, gossips. How is your swimming in such a wave? Do you think it is good? Well, I try to stay, uh, my, uh, keep my head above the the sea level, and uh, we uh, sometimes uh, we we feel sad, we feel uh, frustrated. My family members uh, do not like it. All kinds of rumors. Uh, yesterday evening, I receive a lot of uh, messengers from the entrepreneurs, my friends, and they say that there are a lot of rumors because uh, you uh, shifted. 120 billion RMB to other countries, so you are ready to run away. People laugh, right? You have the concern, you have the worry. Well, so we have uh, we have different angles looking at the same problems. We have different uh, uh, understanding of it from different angles. If you want to uh, cope with it, it makes you very tired. If they are friends of you, you don't need to explain. If they are not your friends, the more you say, the worse the case is. I think that we need to learn to swim in the ocean of gossips. Just now, we um, proposed the first question on why you decided to choose retire on the on the uh, age of uh, 54. The second question comes up: Why you choose Zhang Yong? And uh, in your in your heart. So is he uh, consistently the right uh, candidate? This is a good question. In the development of uh, Ali Group, 
For so many years, I uh, keep asking myself this question: Why Ali Group always has this uh, right luck and uh, fortune? Because we really want to drive the social progress, and uh, we are inspired to enable the small business on our platform. We also want to grow our employees in their career path. And those who didn't learn MBA or commercial or business、uh, theories, why we can develop to this far? Because I used to be a teacher, I didn't know marketing, and I had no idea of、uh, technology. I、uh, at a loss at my financial accounts, and the only thing make my into a, a business successful businessman is my、uh, teaching background. I choose my students. I、uh, train my students. I cultivate my students, and、uh, the the most of my time was spent on identify the talents, train them, and cultivate them. In Ali Group,、uh, my top pride was not our business model. Instead, today our hierarchy of our talents, the organizational structure, the culture development, we have developed a group of them, and in the year of two thousand, we um,、uh, you know that.、Um, It was the、uh, bubble of the internet, and you develop the e-commerce in that kind of time. People think it was not a good company, and I said that、uh, in Ali Group, in the future, we will have a lot of、uh, good talents,、uh, good-looking girls and good-looking gentlemen, and with skills. And we really want to have that talent、uh, several years ago. But now, I believe the building of the hierarchy is so good, and Zhang Yun. And in our、uh, talent hierarchy, yes, one of the top leaders. I believe we have a、uh, we have a very good talents. And if、uh, I think we already have the fifth generation of the candidate、uh, leaders in the preparation in the pipeline, and only when the、uh, predecessors are ready. And I believe it is、uh, possible. And Zhang Yun is not works on his own. He also has his own team. I want to draw your attention to this, and the team is different from teamwork. You know that in China we used to emphasize the uh, uh, the group interest, but the team is a different concept. The team means you are supplementary to each other. You want to support others' success. Why we can make success today is not my own success; it's my team's success. I have a good team. I have Zhang Yong. I have、uh, Jing Xiandong and Mr. Cai Chongxing. I also Peng Lei. I have uh, a uh, a very strong lineup of. Talents behind the next to me, and Zhang Yun behind Zhang Yun. There's also a strong lineup of the talents, but they have different skills. But among these skills, Zhang Yun has something I don't have, such as systematic thinking,、uh, sober mind. You know that startup entrepreneurs have a have a great、uh, anger sometimes. Sometimes we can't curb our temper, but in such a time, such an age, we need to have a systematic, logical thinking, and、uh, it's my. Advantage is something not owned by Zhang Yong, but Zhang Yong has、uh, strengths which is above us. In and especially when company is such a large one, we need a systematic, organized, plus very strong leadership and the strong sense of responsibility. So in this aspect, Zhang Yong is the right candidate. In Zhang Yong, we see something very special、uh, at his position of CFO, and、uh, he was.、Uh, Fabulous, and you said that,、um, and、uh, you said that I fear nothing. I just fear CFO become CEO. If you review this, what you said, it is you change your mind or Mr. Zhang Yong changes. I think both of us are changing. And、uh, in the past, I was uh, quite uh, the experience was quite、uh, interesting. And I think three types of people within the company. I said that、uh, we will not promote them. I said that at Ali Group we have eighteen founding partners, and we can't take up the senior executive positions because we are not very we are very weak in our capabilities. They used to be our students who cannot find work in the past, and the eight, the eighteen people were now in the media proved to be very strong. But you know, several twenty、uh, years ago, and、uh, that if they want to、uh, interview to、uh, with the Ali Group, they Cannot get include, and I always believe that external staff are more.、Um, the external candidates are stronger than us. However, we find out the、uh, newly recruited people sometimes do not have the persistence, do not believe in the future, and at least eighteen people keep working consistently. We find out that after several several rounds of experiences as well as the tests, and just like the farmers raise the cows, and、uh, the cows growing, uh, growing. Uh, 
quickly. And the 18 people, you know that so we have very strong will. We have strong will because we experience all kinds of ups and downs. You know, the, 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 the newcomers are stronger than us in their knowledge, capabilities, and skills. Once we give them time, they will give us a new success. And the 18 fund partners know, Shanghai, Shanghai know, MBA know, and the Taiwan people know. Why Taiwan people know? So it's a kind of, um, you know, prejudice against them. And the Taiwan people, they tell jokes, they bow jokes, they do nothing. And the CFO, Cai Chongqing, is from Taiwan. You know, he has a really sober mind, so I take it away. I change my mind. Shanghainese who wishes to become a uh, professional manager, and I do not like them. I do not like this position because in a company, we need a leader. We do not, it's not, we do not want to follow the procedures. If we follow the procedures, why would we need you? Why do we need you as a manager? We need to have process and also uh, uh, in parallel to process, we are ready to take bold steps. Mr. Zhang Yu is Shanghainese. He is also a professional manager. Well, so you choose him to correct your your view several years ago. CFO is a very interesting position. I believe that he has a risk mindset to take the, the most safe path, which is the first guarantee of a good and qualified CFO. In decision making, CFO would choose the most uh, most safe way. But in the past decades development of Ali Group, every time we made a decision, we, we made decision among so many risks. So CFO could not become our CEO, and uh, actually, a top, a very top CFO, maybe it's difficult for him to become a CEO. But uh, Mr. Zhang Yong and Jing Xiandong, and the one is the uh, chairman of uh, and, and uh, financial service group. The other one is the CFO of uh, Ali Group. Both of them are bold enough to take steps. They want to change themselves. They dare to do so. And my progress in recent years are very evident. Some of my views are changed because we find them is not correct. And that's why I said I was making progress. And Mr. Zhou, uh, Mr. Zhang is also working out of uh, his own circle as a CFO. So both of you are changing. And uh, in uh, Mr. Zhang Yong, you do see the uh, qualification as a CEO for Ali Group. How about uh, the feeling of uh, Zhang Yong in the past 11 years? He lived in hotels, you know? Again, you give the extra burden to him. He cannot go back to his home for rest. Well, in order to persuade him to become the uh, board chairman in the recent two years, whenever I have a moment, I will try to persuade him. And uh, the day he uh, he agreed, I feel so much touched. I know that uh, to become the Ali Group board chairman was a difficult decision. It's no longer a, a commercial decision. It was not only a business decision, such a big organization. The, the sophistication of the business is out of the expectation. The scale of our group is so enormous in China, especially we are driven by our vision and mission. And uh, that is to make the business facilitated in the earth. You know, this is something uh, we often think about, which is not thought about by other companies. It, you, you might have a sleepless sleepless nights. You have no time for sleep. And uh, he... Uh, he has this. Uh, um, he ha he he dare uh, he promised to do so, and what if he has some problem and he cannot want to do it? Will you come back? I said if he can't do that, that's it. I will not come back because I don't think I'm leaving anyway. Retirement doesn't mean that I leave Ali Group. Upon the call of uh, Ali Group, I will. I will respond to it, but I will not do as a, a board chairman or as a CEO. I'm a shareholder of Ali Group. I'm the partner to this organization. I am a permanent employee of Ali Group. I also talk about it internally. If you are an employee of Ali Group, your time belongs to Ali Group. You know, as an average employee, 12 hours of the day belong to Ali Group. If you are director or the uh, VP, 24 hours belong to Ali Group. If you are the partner, your life belongs to Ali Group, even if you leave. And this is we agreed. And so it's no concept of leaving. 
But being a CEO or uh, a chairman, you basically like for a country have a military power. But for me, I don't want that anymore. Uh, if I go back upon the call, then perhaps my I'm very happy to give my advice, but I will not return to the chairman position. Now, if you look at back in the history, many founders uh, said they would retire, but when emergencies arise, they would go uh, back to the frontier line. Do you think that will happen to you in the future, As uh, although you said you won't, but um, do you think it's possible? Well, it is. Uh, Trouble, troubling. That's why I've been preparing for this for the past several years. I believe that founders are like parents to a kid. Now, if your child go, grows up, maybe you are very helpful in a primary when he's in the high primary school. But when the kid goes to the university, you as a parent can't help much. You need to uh, push him to the real re reality, to expose him to all the realities, challenges in his life. Now, when there is challenge, you as a parent, you will be there to support him or her. But you can't make all the decisions for your child. That's the same. Thing here with my uh, with Alibaba, we are here so that we want to prevent crisis from happening. We have daily operations and co communication. So for Daniel Zhang, for Mr. Uh, Jin, we talk on a constant base uh, basis. We are basically like consultants. We're very happy to give our advice, but uh, we do not plan. I do not plan to go back and take the decision in the future because I've planned for my next five, 15 years what other kids I would have. Maybe these kids, they are younger, so they need me more. And for uh, Alibaba, it has an ecosystem. It's a system. It's got its way, uh, own way of uh, doing business. So that's why I have a plan for not going back, not coming back. But that's because uh, to some reason, I, 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 I don't plan to leave uh, at all because I'm uh, always with Al Alibaba. When there is problem, I'm very happy to talk. But they will take the decision, not me. You, if, for example, if I don't care about Alibaba, if you say that, I don't think that's true. Nobody will believe that. I love deeply Alibaba because it's my own kid. Even if I uh, die someday, I still love it deeply. In my 80s or 90s, maybe I'm on the beach, I listen to the radio, and the news says that Alibaba does wonderfully. I will be profoundly happy because I've devoted the best 10 years and 20 years of my life to the group. And um, this is a kid um, I brought up 15 years ago. Until this day, maybe way in the future, I will be very happy that it's su successful. I understand that you've been preparing for this for the past um, 10 years, but I think the market is not ready. Now, as you said, when you announced that you plan to retire, the share price uh, went down for 3.7 percent, I think, 15.5 uh, uh, billion uh, mar uh, market uh, valuation. Uh, the market is not very happy or confident or fully prepared for a Alibaba without Jack Ma. So with that, do you ha have you talked uh, with Daniel on this? I talk to him every day. But we haven't really mentioned this very much. Of course, if everybody is quickly get used to me not be being in Alibaba, then there will be problem. It means that I not I'm not that important. Now, if you are not in Alibaba, Alibaba how do you uh, uh, get to uh, get? Uh, why do you get a salary? So w what I mean is that of course have value in Alibaba. It's like again, uh, a kid you breast feed your ch uh, child and then you will switch to formula. So in this uh, transition, of course there will be discomfort, but after a while the kid will be okay. 
So I think for a short period of time, you need to get used to this with some pain and discomfort. But um, then the market, after a while, the market, the company, everybody will be will get used to it. It's not that uh, once the baby is crying, you will give him or her whatever he wants. That's not the way out. Very well. So as you said, on uh, the market's feedback to you, during your talk, you will uh, re uh, have your feedback. You will react to that in your own way. Um, I talked to you in a back uh, room that, uh, for example, the WAIC and uh, the Yunxi conference and including this conference. And for the past several days, aside from going to these conferences, it also uh, introduced Ping Tou Ge, that is the Chinese nickname name for honey badger. Um, this is perhaps the first time for many people to hear about this animal. So why do you plan to have an IC chip company? Well, for this company, it does not need to find its own mission. Its corporate culture, uh, its structure uh, is quite there. But the thing for it is that uh, you need to innovate. You need to change yourself according to the changing environment. So what you said is right. Because in the past several days, um, I get even busier, including the heads of states and governments of other countries. They called me trying to know, find out what's going on. And all of them are very happy. Uh, the, For example, Keen or retired uh, former presidents. Um, and I, after they hear that I'm doing charity work, they're very happy. They think that together we can do something uh, nice. So I'm very happy that I've got friends who, uh, who uh, care about me. And there are also suspicion, as you said, because uh, they say that because uh, it, uh, you want to go to abroad because of the pressure, maybe the economy is not going well. These are all suspicions. So for right now, I want the priority is for the stable development of the group. I've got good teamwork, good talents. I will enhance the um, consolidate the corporate culture, the structure. This is the first. Second, I need to find something that of my own. As you said, the IC chip company. Um, I announced this today, which means that of course we've been preparing below this. It's, we've been preparing for this for five years. It is not that uh, we have a problem now and they set up a company. Things are not done in this way. I announced today. It means that I've been preparing this for the previous several years. And the Jack Ma Foundation is here for five years. Five years ago, we started uh, to do our work. So every step in the past several years, we've been planning for the future. So for any company, if you do not plan for the future, you'll be more and more exhausted. You are solving problems of today, and then you'll have new problems tomorrow. So you need to think ahead. You need to anticipate uh, of the 10 problems in the future. You can detect and solve seven problems, then maybe you will have a better future. So for me, along that logic, I think the culture of Alibaba is that we live for the future, we live for the belief. Because we believe in the future, uh, we can see how the future will form. This is the very culture of our group. Now, you mentioned believing, you, men uh, you mentioned anticipating. We're looking at the economic outlook. Many entrepreneurs are now under great pressure. Uh, they want to know the outlook for future. So what do you think the economic outlook and for entrepreneurs, what do they need to do now? Being an entrepreneur, in my experience, the economic outlook is always problematic for us. For example, if you like the, you look at the past 40 years of uh, the government economic uh, conference, every year it will say that we've got complex and problematic economic outlook. It's always there, the sentence, because if the outlook is good, then the competition will be awfully fierce. If the economic outlook is not perfect, then you will have good competition. So there's two sides of everything. Now, if the outlook is problematic, then it means this is the right timing to have a great company.
when they're um, when everything's fine, then you'll have mediocre companies. But when you have headwinds, and if a company can live, then this is a great company. Now, for many companies, you've got scale right now, and for any uh, of this, uh, those, uh, they ha must have weathered um, economic uh, problems, uh, natural disasters, man-made disasters, and it is only after uh, a company over uh, overcomes all these problems, then it becomes greater and greater. So the resilience of companies is very much. It's like a boxer. Uh, you need to be uh, have offensive power, but you also need to defend yourself to weather all the problems along the way. If you look at Alibaba, uh, from our perspective, we know for a fact that we are under blow for a lot of times more than other company, I would say, think. So the economic outlook, it is not perfect, of course, and it will last longer than many people expect. But we need to think about it. We need to plan ahead. And we need to plan everything in a worse, worse scenario than the reality. Being confident means that I don't think blindly the future is perfect, but we can still live in a not perfect future. Now, on manufacturing, you said in 15 years' uh, time, they will have more problems. Technological innovation, uh, China-US trade frictions, and uh, tr uh, transformation and upgrading of our economic structure, and your internal and external pressure of companies, all these things and including all the changing landscape in the world, they are all there. So I think the outlook, as I said, is not perfect and will not be perfect. But even with not perfect outlook, uh, you'll have great companies. Even with a perfect outlook, you'll have lousy companies. So the thing is about your perspective. You need to do the right thing in the right time. Yesterday, yesterday, I uh, went to the entrepreneurs' uh, clubs meeting and also the Zhejiang uh, Merchants Business Association. Uh, last year, I talked to the entrepreneurs. I said, in the next several years, you don't need to do a lot of things, but you need to do something right and something that makes you happy. That's exactly what I mean about the outlook. Um, if you have, uh, if uh, in a in in whatever you are doing, you don't only focus on the low hanging fruit. I was in Yunqi conference yesterday. I talked to many entrepreneurs about a uh, story. Three kids out in a storm, and the father said, "You brought something back um, out." Of, and for the elderly kid, uh, he was equipped, and the second one, he had an umbrella, and the third one, he had nothing. But for the first kid, uh, they all hurt themselves in some way. But the third kid, he didn't equip himself with uh, Macintosh or, or umbrella, but he brought the same bat. So for the first kid, uh, he was uh, avoiding all the uh, storm. And for the second kid, uh, too. But for the third kid, he said, I, I found a cave, and I stayed there for some time, and the storm would pass, and, from, and then I would bring the thing back. So that's the same logic. As I said, in a bad time, you can still do the right things, and a good uh, time, you can still do the good things. Uh, you can still succeed. We're not happy with the U.S. trade, U.S.-China trade frictions. But on this, as I said, you need to plan for the next 20 years. Whatever uh, the U.S. would uh, do, we will have have our own solutions based on our uh, pr uh, principles. No matter what you say, how angry you are, Mr. Uh, President Trump doesn't know about that. So what you can do, what you can, ch what you can change is the things you plan and you choose to do. Of course, you're in a lousy outlook that is possible, that, but that's the same case for your competitors as well. You have financing problems. It's the same case with your competitors. So as I said, you don't need to do a zillion things, but you need to do something right. So for Jack Ma, what will you plan to do in the future? This is something that we have all been talking about in your open letter after you uh, released it. And online, there is a business card, online business card of Jack Ma. That is a summary of um, uh, what you wrote. 
in priority order. So aside from your name and also the title teacher, under that you will have some other titles. I will read it out for you. The first one is uh, a man from Zhejiang and uh, the, sec the first employee of Alibaba, partner of Alibaba, and the first charitable worker of Alibaba, a poverty alle alleviation a foundation founder, all of these titles. So you can see that a lot of things are still related to Alibaba and charity work. If I, want, I ask you to design your own business card, what will you write? It makes me sort of sad because uh, my name Jack Ma looks like IP. It doesn't belong to me at the first place because when I mention Jack Ma, you've got your own definition of Jack Ma, but that's not me entirely. For me, I'm still an ordinary person who was born and raised in Hangzhou. I became an entrepreneur in Hangzhou. I don't think I'm uh, legendary or someone of significance or I created some this and that. It's not entirely me. So uh, I'm sure there are many la labels, but for me, I think as an ordinary person, I'm very lucky. In the past several years, I chose the right time and the right friends. And together with a lot of hard work after 20 years, we arrive at where we are right now. But we understand from deep down that with Alibaba, its relations with Ma, Ma, Jack Ma is there, but it's not that close. So for me, I still need to be me do, to do the things I like. You mentioned Ping Tou Ge, the chip company, the uh, honey badger. After I named this company Ping Tou Ge, uh, a friend next to me said that you are a honey badger, indeed. And the reason I'm, uh, f I'm fascinated about this animal is that this fearless, he doesn't care, this animal, he doesn't care who's my, who my opponent is. Just give me the time and location, I will be there and I'll fight him no matter what. So this is like us, like me in the past 20 years. And this is the spirit, the value you have. You should have deep rooted in a entrepreneur and also the team. Of course, you will be a brilliant person, but that's, uh, that's, that's what you have and that's all. But with a team, you can do much better, something much bigger. So if you're asking me about my own business card, I will still write education on it. By educating, I can reflect my understanding of life, my life philosophy. I can reflect all the interesting things I've met in the past 20 years, all the interesting persons, significant people. For example, the founder of, Profe uh, of Davos, Professor Schwab. Uh, after so many years of uh, perseverance, uh, building a magnificent platform, I met Obama, Putin, and uh, Chinese leaders and a lot of fascinating uh, entrepreneurs, Warren Buffett, um, Bill Gates, and so on and so forth, and also very eccentric people. There are full of plenty of them. And also um, Mr. Wang Ling Li, I've met with them, talked with them. So for me, living here on this planet is an opportunity for me to know these people to know these brilliant people of all varieties, good people, bad people, great people. And that is my nutrition. And as a teacher, I can think about it, why these people appear in our history. And I want to share this with more people. For, our, for, the, for my university uh, and entrepreneurs in my university, the reason we are there is that we need to know about other people, but more importantly, we need to know about ourselves. We need to know how imperative it is to learn from the great people. And also, you can't be devastated because of the bad news in the in the world. You can be sad for one day, and for uh, and tomorrow is another day. You still need to be motivated to work hard and live hard for the next day. We need to think of ways to come up with solutions to all the challenges, to all the unperfect, imperfect things, to be the honey badger in your life. This, I think, is the essence of education, being you, not being Jack Ma. 
and don't imitate anybody. Just be yourself. That's very important. So in the business card, maybe uh, you want to write Jack Ma, teacher. That's all. Is that the case? You want to go back to the things that you started with. Education is about future, and it's about those who are educated, about their future. I still remember that in previous occasions you said that you, you, we need to look at the future with awe and respect. This is the right attitude. So uh, we're standing from where we are now, what kind of pre preparations you've been doing for entrepreneurs, for enterprises, for yourself, for the time? Talking about the future, we should give uh, high attention to it, especially get prepared for the third or the so-called fourth industrial technological revolution. I believe such a revolution of the Internet will be very fast in its pace, have a great change to all the business sectors and individuals. If you cannot properly handle the industrial revolution, may lead to a consequence of the social revolution. This is the responsibility of every one of us here to make everybody get adaptive to the uh, revolution so that the kids are enabled to respond to the future challenges. Actually, the battle is started. Many people is fearing losing their jobs because of technology or AI. So many fears on their mind. I believe that fears make you feel more depressed. We need to stand right in front of the challenge is the right way to do it. First of all, we need to develop education, do more things for public good. And in Ali group, uh, it's not possible for me to get away from it. And I will keep communicating with the uh, Ali group staff. And more importantly, I need more some time for my happy things. You know that I can't. Even though I know that uh, in education, I feel very happy. And for the public goods, I like it. And I want to go to Africa to, and also want to uh, protect the environment. But also, there are more interesting things in my mind. Well, and uh, you know, it's like uh, it's like uh, you are really arouse our curiosity. So uh, please pick the top, the top, top thing you want to do among so many things. Probably I will make my own wine. I believe wine is culture. You know, the wine in China is um, people just want to drink more, but instead of tasting, try to taste the wine. We need to taste it. Not long ago, I was in Maltai group. The chairman of Maltai said that the young people don't drink Maltai, which is uh, uh, baijiu or the white liquor. They drink something else. I said, that, no, don't worry about it. When they are 45 years old, they will come back to you after death and survival and after suffering and happiness, they will know it. You know, French wine are romantic and uh, uh, and also the uh, Swiss wine are also special. We need to taste all kinds of wines and also the yellow wine from Shaoxing is also very good. And uh, you know, the in the Sweden, the thing, uh, the, the news make me feel very uh, Frustrated, you know, China is uh, complicated. You know, 100 million people going out to the other countries, the politeness, the uh, manners, and uh, you, we need to talk about it with the Westerners. You know, the Chinese. Uh, Chinese kids uh, seldom say, um, thank you, excuse me, or sorry, or please. We, we need to pick up our minors. Otherwise, the conflict between China and the rest of the world will on the rise. We will have more conflicts and frictions. I believe that uh, by um, uh, instead of uh, educating or uh, propaganda, we need to incorporate that into something interesting and uh, try to educate how to pick up it. And well, China is at a critical moment in facing to the future. This year is the 40th uh, anniversary of China's reform opening up. China has a deeper integration with the world, with more dialogue between China. China and the rest of the world. Well, in your view, what is the value brings by China, brought by China to the world, and what are the value brought by the world to China? Well, to me, any nation, any country has uh, something uh, special, uh, exclusive to itself. So I'm sitting in my home, looking at the world. You know, it's not possible to have a very right uh, uh, outlook on the world. Before I went to Africa, I believe Africa is a uh, 
um, is a, uh, a less developed place with poverty. But when I was there, I feel a lot. It's kind of imagination before you were there. You read about it from the media, from the news. If there is um, a bias of the media, you know that your decision is not right. I believe that going out, you need to look at the world only by showing respect to the uh, ethnic groups and the cultures. Your life will become more interesting. And you know that there is difference between cultures. The Westerners are very straightforward. In the Bible, it is very clear. You follow the words of the God, it's just like a very um, a good quality sales guidebook. But China is quite different. And uh, we uh, focus on the, uh, for the, uh, uh, we, we have differences in the opinions and the difficulty to understanding subjective things. But you know that China emphasizes on harmony. Harmony gives you fortune. But in Western culture, competition makes you pro makes you better. Without communication, without the communication and the respect or appreciating others, you only have troubles and the conflicts on your hands. You know that in China, you have your motivation and um, different ideas behind what you say. You don't between China and the East. We we can talk about it, you know. This is two different cultures. We talk about it only when you go to different countries. You listen to others. We are saying the same thing, but uh, we do things in a different manner. And we need more dialogue like this, foreign like this. We need to see more. Similarly, it's not useful today. After three days, you learn nothing. But some kind of uh, ideological change and will have a big impact on you and on your kids, I believe. China, of course, will bring value to the world. And also, we need to use an international language, a uh, accepted language to talk to the world. Also, the Westerners need to know China focuses on wisdom, but uh, Western world focuses on knowledge. And this is the knowledge. This is knowledge. This is wisdom. So this is the combination of the heart and the uh, mind. Thank you. Thank you, Jack Ma. Well, I think our time is up. We only have the last question. As we can see, Feng Qing. And probably um, Feng Qingyang is living away from this, um, from the from the Jianghu or from the uh, from the market. And of course, we will still have the the stories of him. And when we are still calling upon to meet with uh, Feng Qingyang, and what do you want to say to him? Well, we always have uh, uh, the word, or and we have a lot of heroes uh, coming up in it, and it's not. Um, it's not the world is changing, but your capabilities are not uh, improved. And in the world of rivers and lakes and the competitions, everyone's uh, capability are making progress. Without the progress, you cannot survive. The most important thing in it is that you come up with all kinds of good things and the rivals and the chances and the coincidence. Therefore, when I am away from the business, but I keep uh, my attention on it, I'm a part of it. I will do something else. In other sectors, I also find it highly interesting. I believe that those uh, you can have some psychological preparation. Sometimes we miss you, even though you are away, and it is also very feeling. No matter it's a glamour when you show up, or it's kind of a graceful manner when you leave the stage, and uh, it's kind of uh, in the world is something impression. It's an impression we will leave in our memory, memory, and uh, we give our blessings to you. And the last thing we. We have a nice, nice time dialogue. We have a nice communication between you and me after one year. When you really get retired, we hope we can have a tense dialogue. At that time, we could see a more uh, and better Mr. Feng Qingyang or Jack Ma. Thank you. Thank you so much.